London point of view, Eddie, although that was a poor kick and it was too far, it's going to result in uh, their line out. After that kick that you just mentioned, Clarky, were played magnificently by the Scots. Oh, there's the head clash. Two of their players to really knock themselves out. Strokosh and Ansbro. There he is. He's, they split each other's head open in the excitement. Oh, that's terrific stuff. <laughs> Make sure with a testing conversion right into the wind. Oh my goodness, does it cross the bar? Well, there's a decision for the two assistants. They say it didn't. Well, with Star Wars having recently come out, it was almost pushed back by the force look at this where's the force field around those posts however sales sharks have managed to put yeah in her more and the horror mount the triane show of us fast sound interviews jackson is with a bird van der bear with a whole can hook up how to check it is in the end look at the world i aim as a force i guess i got him the door so when i can be a classical kitchen Munster shorten the line out here. Just four men. And Paul O'Connell's back was turned and Casey had to dive upon it. Knocked it on in the process. That was a mess from start to finish. Oh, they got themselves all wrong there, I didn't they? Number one, last one Casey. In the I mean, Paul O'Connell's there was an option, but he didn't realise he was being used. Simple as that. Casey didn't want to throw it over the top time, to the pod that he cannot. felt was marked. Dear, oh dear. Just very uncharacteristic Munster, isn't it? Putting pressure on themselves. Mieres, who could yet find himself in a Puma jersey at the World Cup should there be injuries out there, but at the moment his mind very focused on taking Exeter to victory here. Mieres smacks it over. Oh, oh. no. There goes Not the cider. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> Some horrible smelly bloke in front of us throws a beer all over you. Still there for the home side. Keatley just changing his option, kicking the ball straight at Wayne Barnes. Well, that's got the biggest cheer of the afternoon so far, unkindly. I think, thankfully, Wayne Barnes is okay. Uh, I don't know, did Ian Keatley do that on purpose or what? But here you see it. Bang. Ooh. Oh. Full in the face. In the face! In the face! 
Four tries in the first half they scored. They've now scored four tries in the second half. And uh, Louis Kuhn will have the final say here with a conversion attempt from right over on the far touch. 48,496 fans and the Springboks have thrown down the gauntlet. Improving as they head to the business end. Oh, and there's a lunatic out there diving at Louis Kuhn. What a fool. So concern at the end here as a member of the crowd raced in and tried to tackle Louis Kuhn. So it's the first real breach of security we've seen at the Rugby World Cup. to go out on a high if they can with Tom Casson. Now, terrific running with Johnny May. Johnny May <laughs> losing the shot. He'll not worry because he's got the try. Well, who cares? He doesn't, I don't. And Johnny May with a terrific burst at the end. He was going to battle. If it took his shorts off, he was going to get there. And that's what happened. 